Hello, and welcome to our tutorial on synchronizing pay runs with Xero for individual transactions. This tutorial assumes that you have set up an organization in Parola and that you have granted Parola permission to access your Xero accounts. It also assumes that you have mapped the chart of accounts between the two systems. If you have not yet done this, please see our earlier tutorial on how to configure Parola to interface with Xero. In this tutorial, we are going to select a processed pay run and synchronize those payments with Xero. We will then show you how to reconcile those payments from within Xero. So let's get started. First, we will just check that Parola is actually connected to Xero by going to the Settings, Account System and our menu bar. Parola automatically connects to Xero whenever you log on. We can see the connection is made as the background of this box is blue and the heading says you are connected to Xero. If you are not connected, then there will be an orange background and a prompt to reconnect. You should normally always be connected, so you do not need to do this every time. So, also okay here, let's proceed to the Payrun Index page. This page contains all the processed and open payruns. If you cannot see any processed payruns, then click on the I button to the right to see previously processed runs. To send payrun information to zero, all you need to do is click on the drop down button to the right of the selected payrun and click Send to Zero. You can also do this from within the payrun itself, using the Actions button to the top right. We're just going to send it to Zero now. In the background, Parola is now creating invoices and manual journal entries in Zero. The system is also deep linking the payslips and the invoices so that you can switch between systems with ease. Let's follow these links. First, we can view our unpaid bills in Parola under the Account section. If we choose an unpaid bill, we can see its component values and makeup. We can see here the deductions made for taxes, the net payable amount at the bottom, and up the top right hand corner here, a button, which is a deep link button that transfers us to zero. Let's open this now. So here we are inside zero in a payroll accounts payable invoice. You can see there's a deep link button to the top left, which will return you to the Parola page. The invoice contains all the payslip items assigned to the mapped liability and expense accounts, with the net value at the bottom being the net amount paid due to the employee. You can see the income tax deducted from the employee has been created in two equal and opposite amounts. The first is a liability amount for the taxes due to be paid. This appears on your balance sheet as a current liability. The second value is an expense amount, which will appear on your P&L sheets as a wage and salary expense. There is one of these for each of the taxes deducted. When we configured Parola and the Xero integration, we had selected to post drafts as invoice or invoices as drafts. So for the moment, you will now need to go down to the bottom of each invoice and click Approved. You can see that the chart of the counts, there is nothing in here at the moment for values from Parola. Wages and salaries are empty, benefits are empty, and accounts payable are also empty. If we go to our bills page, accounts, purchases, you can see that there are four invoices in the draft folder. Let's click into that draft bills folder now. We're going to select all of them and approve. If we switch to our chart of accounts, you are now see values assigned in each of those sections. Scrolling down to wages and salaries, you can see a total amount there. And accounts payable, you can see the amount of the net payable amount due to employees. Under Parola payable, it's the tax due. This also appears in your balance sheet. If we go to reports, balance sheet, you can see an accounts payable amount for the salaries to be paid to the employees and a Parola payable amount which contains the taxes due to the revenue. If we switch to the profit and loss report, you can see wages and salaries totaling €14,000. So let's say that a few days have gone by. You have paid your employees out of your account and it's time to reconcile the bank account. 
we go to our dashboard in Xero, there's a button there which says Reconcile Five Items. Let's just click on that. You can now see that Xero has identified the accounts payable invoices to each of the individuals and matched that amount with the amount deducted from your bank statement. To reconcile, all you need to do now is click on each of these individual items. Now if we switch to our balance sheet, we will see that the values have disappeared for those items. Reports, balance sheet. And you can see that your business account has been reduced by the value of 6,320 euros, but also that the liability for 6,300 euros is no longer there. So the next step would be to reconcile a P30 payment. Let's jump back to Parola. We'll have a quick look into the Revenue P30s folder. You can see that the total amount due to revenue is €6,275. This is a combined amount made up of the employee contribution and the employer contributions of tax. Revenue will bill you directly based on your P30 submissions. So over time, you will see in your Xero account another deduction appeared. Let's just go to the accounts now. We'll reconcile one item. So here's the value, 8,275 due to the Revenue Commissioner. To reconcile this amount, we will enter who it's for, Revenue. We will state why, where it's being paid out, which is P30 Income Taxes and we will choose our account we want to reconcile it against, which is Parola Payable. What this will do is deduct our bank account and credit to our Parola account. Great job, all reconciles are done. If we go back to our profit and loss and our balance sheet, we can see that the liability has disappeared but if we all go, we'll go to the profit and loss, we can see that the expense for wages and salaries is still there. And if we quickly go to the chart of accounts and we find Parola payable, we can see that the value has gone to zero. Opening that account, we can see all of the deductions as credits and the debit, which is the revenue payment of those balancing and offsetting them. Now, if you're comfortable with this process, then we should go return to Parola and change the account settings under settings, accounting system, and change posting to final. This will eliminate the need for you to approve individually each transaction. Click update. So that concludes our tutorial on synchronizing pay runs with zero. Thank you.